Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to use Google Colab to run programs from the statistical software R. So Google Colab is a new feature on Google Drive that allows you to open up a worksheet that will let you run R code and uh, output the results all inside a nice uh, shared file. So you can share this with others. It can help you keep your own record of your, your code. Um, and today I wanna show you how to do that from the very beginning. So the first thing you'll need is to have a Google account to where you can go into your Google Drive and then open and edit files. So I've already skipped that step, assuming that you have a Google account and you're able to get to Google Drive. So once you get to your Google Drive, what you'll want to do is make sure that you have Google Colab installed to your Google Drive. So the way that you can do that is go over to the New button up on the upper left-hand side of the, the screen, click on that, and then scroll down a little bit and hover your mouse over the word More. So this will open up some more options for us in Google. You can see some of the other things that I have installed on mine. What you're looking for is this Google Collaboratory, or what I'll refer to as Google Collab for the rest of the video. So if this is your first time using Google Collaboratory, you probably won't have access to this um, at the moment. So then what you'll need to do is go down to Connect More Apps, click on that, and then this will bring you to an option to where you can um, find Google Collaboratory and install it on your browser. Now you can see a lot of options populate. So Google Collaboratory team, this with this orange icon here, already shows up on mine. However, if it's not in your top eight, you can also go to the search bar and type in Collaboratory. So then that should bring it up to the top option for you. You can go ahead and click on that. And then mine is already uninstalled. So it uh, mine says uninstall, but yours will probably say install if this is your first time using it. So what, if this is your first time using it, you'll want to go ahead and install it. And then you probably want to restart your browser to make sure that it shows up in Google Drive. I'm not sure that that's a main feature anymore that you need to restart browsers to use these apps, but um, back in the olden days it was. So you might wanna do that if, if it doesn't show up for you. Okay, so now let's go over to new and start a new Google Collab document that we can start typing our code into. So then again, we went to the new button on the upper left-hand side of the screen. We're going to go down and hover over the more option. And now Google Collaboratory should be showing up for you. If it's not, then I would rewind the video, um, you know, skip backwards a ways and follow those steps again to make sure that you've accurately uh, installed Google Collaboratory. OK, so I clicked on that option. And now you'll see that it opens up a brand new file for me that's called untitled0.ipynb. Now, once you open this Google Collab document, this is actually using the software Python. So we need to make sure that we can change this to, to work for R. Now, it might be tempting to type in two plus two and then to hit this, this plus or this play button to get it to run. It'll take a moment to connect and initialize, and then it'll give us an output of four. So that's correct, but don't be under the illusion here that we're running things in R. Python also has the ability to calculate two plus two. So just because you can run this code doesn't mean that you're running things in R yet. Okay, so then what we wanna do is we wanna check the, uh, the runtime and see what we're doing. But before we do that, I wanna give you another example of how uh, something you might run into uh, that's an error or indicative of the fact that you're using Python when you really want to be using R. So I'm going to add a new section of code to demonstrate this. And now this is where I can type in some code. Now I'm creating this video for a class that I'm, I'm teaching, Public Health Data and Statistics. And so I have some example code that we've already gone over in class. So this is code that we've created to create a frequency chart. Now this code is written in R. And so let's see what happens when we, we run this um, in Python. 
So what ends up happening is it runs and we get an error that is, you know, more or less helpful, but it has this name error and then IPython input. So this is giving us a hint that we're using Python instead of R. And then another way to check to see if we're running in R is to go up to the top of your screen where there is the runtime option in the menu. Go ahead and click on that. And then you'll scroll down a ways to where you see change runtime type. Now, this will bring up the notebook settings and it'll have the hardware accelerator. If you are running R, that should already show up under this hardware accelerator. However, if we click on this, you can notice that R is not an option uh, for any of these. Now, I've worked on uh, a few different ways to get from working in Python to R, and there is some code that you can run. However, I think that that actually ends up making it a little bit more complicated. So the method that I'm going to propose for you to use R in Google Colab is by typing this link into your browser. So this link is um, HTTPS and then the colon two forward slashes colab dot two forward slash R. So then what we're going to do is you can either type this into a new tab or um, you can copy and paste it if you have it somewhere else. So you can copy this link. We'll do uh, copy. And then we'll go up and we'll open a new tab and we will do paste. Now, what this link has done is this has automatically initiated an R document for us instead of Python. So the first way we can check to make sure that we're running in R is now to go up to the runtime option again, click on runtime up on the menu. Now scroll down to change runtime type. So now under the notebook settings, we successfully see that we have runtime type is set to R. So now our code will automatically run R instead of Python. You don't need to make any changes here, so you can either hit cancel or save. Okay, so we can do just a general check of two plus two to make sure that our code is running, and then we can hit the plus button. I'm sorry, that's the play button, not the plus button. And that gave us four. Okay, well, that worked last time, so let's also make sure that it, it's gonna work for some R code. So now I went up and I hit plus code. So this will open up a new uh, text uh, coding block for us. And then I'll go back and copy and paste some code from the course that I'm teaching. So now when I run this, the idea is that I've stored some numbers into this variable, I've named it, and then I wanna just create a bar chart frequency of these. So this is typed in, let's go up and hit that play button. And sure enough, now we have treatment, no treatment, and it's plotted those frequencies. So this was an example of how to get R running for you in, in uh, Google Colab. One last thing that I would recommend you do is that if you notice this title up at the top is untitled.ipynb. This is actually the extension for Python code. So what I would recommend doing is go ahead and changing that dot to a capital R. This changes absolutely nothing except for the name and uh, the title of our code. It doesn't change the extension file type. It just changes the name so that we can easily find it later. So now we have this. We might give it another example, uh, our example dot r, and then save that so that we can easily find it next time. OK, so we've shown how to install Google Colab on your Google Drive. We looked at how if you open just a brand new uh, Google Colab document, it's going to automatically start in Python. And we showed how you can check the runtime to see if it's in R or in Python. Then we showed that the easiest way to get a, a document going running in R is to actually just follow this, this hyperlink. So this hyperlink then updates, uh, creates a brand new uh, document for you that is automatically running in R, and you can check that in your, your runtime. So this is a kind of quick and easy way to get uh, Google Colab running for R.
Thanks for listening.